It is another beautiful day here in Southern California. It's a little hot. How is it in Brazil, Benjamin? It's hot as well. <laughs> it's hot as well. <laughs> let's let's play that logo. Let's play that. You just created that just uh, in, in a few days ago. Let's play that logo if we can. Do we have it ready? Maybe so. Maybe not. Connor, you got that? Sorry, I just. There it is. Go for it. Let's do, let, read that back. Yeah, this is so cool. Oh, man, I'm so proud when I see that, dude. I just said, hey, Benjamin, you think you could create a little intro and outro? And he's like, well, what do you want me to do? And I said, well, include the logo, zoom in, zoom out. That's all I said. And then you come back with that magic. How in the world did you create that? Yeah, uh, thanks. Well, it took me actually quite a, quite some time just to figure out uh, some things. But yeah, thanks for giving me the freedom to be like, you know, to have that creativity, creative freedom. So thanks for that. Well, um, you're thanking me for, <laughs> for doing this incredible work. Yeah, for me. it's Thank just so much. <laughs> The only notes that you're giving me is like, just do that logo, zoom in. That's all you said, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, something that's crucial, and we're going to talk about it a lot today, is vision. Today, if you are, are joining us for the first time as we talk about cinematography, well, last week we talked about the do's and don'ts of cinematography. We talked mm -hmm. about staying in focus. What were some of the other do's? Um, make sure that the artist knows the song, that the artist can hear the song, that the camera can hear the song. Um, what are some others that, that come to mind? Uh, some other do's we had, yeah, just simple things like keep the keep the focus, you know, um, lighting. don't overexpose, things like yeah, that. Don't overexpose, yeah. if anything, underexpose. Lighting was crucial. Um, and yeah. and today, we, we also talked about some don'ts as well. Today, we're going to uh, delve in a little deeper. Really quick, I'm going to move this camera. Watch this. Okay. So... I'm going to show you the studio here. This is the studio. You see that right there? That's a wall of CDs. And there's probably 60, 60 or so titles up there. Those aren't all the CDs I've produced, but those are uh, the ones that I'm, I'm most proud of. And um, for so many years, Benjamin, it was impossible for us to marry those songs with images. Mm -hmm. uh, a great example is... First album, Reggae Worship, no music video. Budget for the entire album, $30,000. Um, spent a few months in the studio. Uh, second album was Soul Fire, budget for the album, about $75,000, $100,000. One music video, budget for that video, $20,000. It was a guy and a camera going over to Jamaica while we were already there. Mm -hmm. Third, Third album, Valley Decision budget by the label about a hundred thousand dollars, and for the music video about twenty thousand dollars. And and Toby had his sister who had never really uh, produced or directed a video before, but had a fashion sense, um, oversee it. Budget for that video twenty thousand dollars. Christ of Fire was in uh, Monument Valley in Arizona, and uh, we were already there, so they came out, met us caught some great images, threw a sepia tone over it, and called it George, $20,000. Wow. The next album, I had to do myself. <laughs> I had to raise the support for it. The album entire, in its entirety costed $30,000. And uh, it costed $20,000 to mix the album. So doing a music video just wasn't really, in, as some would say, in the cards. It wasn't really something that we could afford. In mm. many cases, a music video back in the day equaled about the same amount as the cost of um, doing an album independently. Uh, we did a music video and it was Warriors. And uh, it was free, but it was, we spent more time trying to fix it <laughs> than we did shooting it. <laughs> well, let's add an old film look and maybe it won't look so bad. I think it was shot on whatever kind of camera that that a, a film crew would use for television news back in 19 
uh, 99. So it was, it did not look cinematic by any means. So it was the right place. We were in Suriname, but it was the wrong kind of camera. And so I, 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 I wanted to go through some of these things and, and uh, Luis was supposed to be here, but he's feeling sick. And in a time of COVID-19, you don't have somebody who's coughing incessantly sitting next to you. He said, he said, you know what, if it's okay, I'll watch from afar. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk to you about how to shoot a, a music video on no budget or virtually no budget or low budget. And um, we're going to, we're going to, go through a bunch of different things uh, a few things come to mind as i begin you may be thinking okay i see all these videos that christ does um i just don't have that in me if you're a singer if you're a songwriter if you're a creative chances are you aren't singing songs that somebody else is always writing for you chances are you have original ideas and with those original ideas, it means you're you're a, a communicator. So it reminds me of a time when I sat down with one of the pastors of my church, and I said, you know, I'm really struggling on which direction to go. He's like, what do you mean, Mark? I said, well, I love to preach. I love to teach. I love to evangelize. I love to sing on stage and perform. I love to be in music videos. I love to write scripts for music videos. I'm working on a book. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned uh, working on a film. I mentioned all these things, and I'm like, I just don't know which one to focus on. And he looked at me and he said, Mark, uh, I don't see a problem here. You just described to me one thing in many different ways communication. You're a communicator. And so, whether you do it audio or visual or through reading, you are trying to communicate or relay a message. So, I want to start with that. And Benjamin, would you like to add anything in on that? As if there's an artist thinking, I don't have what it takes. If you're an artist, you already have art. So let's talk about today about how to communicate that visually. You want to add anything to that? Yeah, I think uh, spot on. I think, yeah, uh, video is just an extra element to bring, you know, your story across to people. And you have the creator inside of you as well. So you are just naturally creative. You know in this regard as well so it's not only if you if you can sing and uh, maybe some of your ideas for videos are missing then there's like tons of stuff out there that you can have a look at you know just go on youtube click on yeah. similar content and then yeah try to just mimic it or copy a little bit from here from there and make your yeah. own version out of it there's so much out there yeah yeah so i think it all we can all agree that just like when i was talking about songwriting now with with video making well obviously if you have a bad song it doesn't matter how good your video is if you have a bad video it doesn't really matter how good your song is you want to marry a good video with a good song so look well, i'm just gonna be frank don't suck <laughs> i can't i don't know how to put so so the first thing you need to do is if you're going to do a music video let's say you're an artist uh we're just talking to Ja pickney who's an artist from Canada. He's done quite a few albums, great music. Check him out, Ja, J-A-H, pick me. Um, and over the years, he's probably done four or five albums to my knowledge, but he's never done a music video. If you're in that place, don't think about what's the best idea. Think, start with the best song. Start with the strongest song and then build from there because you may have a good idea, but if you marry it with a weak song and maybe looking at analytics on YouTube, on if the songs are up on YouTube, on Spotify, the ones that, that have already the highest count, that's the one I would focus on first. Would you, would you agree there, Benjamin? Yeah, very true. So, and then just come up with a good concept. Now it doesn't have to be a, a a million dollar concept okay here's a great example of a video that was so simple this guy spike jones famous director was hired to do a music video for fat boy slim and guess what the guess how much the the budget was it was eight hundred dollars <laughs> Right, eight hundred dollars, and this is a major label artist. This is a major director. These are some serious favors he was pulling in, and so he came up with this idea of this 
Torrance Dance Troupe. Now, I live near Torrance. It's the neighboring city. To me, there is no dance troupe there. Just a bunch of, like, middle-aged people doing stupid, weird dances in front of an old movie theater. That was the concept, right? A, it had never been done. B, it was super lo-fi, meaning probably shot with a camcorder and one take or something, that kind of thing. But C, it was, it was so original that it transported the song. Now the song was pretty much a Christian song. I, I like to praise you like I should, or something like that are the lyrics. I like to praise you. Everybody's heard the song. And it won a bunch of video music awards <laughs> at MTV's, mm. including the, the, the best, best music video of the year, $800 music video. So it can be done. And it was one of the most popular videos in the late 90s and, mm. and definitely played into the success of the track. So one thing we can talk about is let's, one option is just to go lo-fi. Um, which would mean find an old camcorder, find something as old as possible, pixelated, um, or eight millimeter camera or film, and just make it intentionally bad. <laughs> That's one way to do it. It's not my preferred way, <laughs> but that is one way. Another thing that we did, I'm, I'm gonna share my screen really quick here. Um, share screen and Somebody enable me to share my screen, please. And I'm gonna try again and not gonna happen yet. I'll, I'll show you it in a second, but with uh, a music video that I did for Solomon Jabby, it was real simple. I just got my iPhone and I filmed him and I moved back and forth like this and we found the right location. We scouted the right locations. We did probably three locations and then after that, uh, I added some filters to it, some eight millimeter filters, basically the stock stuff that comes with Final Cut Pro and, um, or iMovie at the time, whatever. I think it was iMovie at the time. And uh, that was his music video and it cost him nothing. It cost me a day of editing. It cost me also, here's my screen. Okay, it also costed me um, a, a few hours of filming would you like to add anything to that, Benjamin? That's fantastic. Actually, I have not seen uh, the Fatwa Slim video until today. Oh, you, oh, you did I see it today. I, ha I I saw it today when you sent me the notes. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think on this video, it's just very entertaining. That's why it's probably so popular. And yeah. I mean, nowadays you see a lot of videos in that style on YouTube or whatever. But I think back in the day, maybe not as much. So yeah. I think another point of us today was very timely. Can you can you guys there. see can you guys see this my screen right now? Do you are you seeing a, a YouTube right now? Is that a yes or a no? Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay, great. Okay. So yeah, this is the Solomon Jabby video. I, I don't want to be playing commercials, so hopefully they won't play. Oh darn it. All right, so yeah, this is. We're not hearing it. Did you share sound? All right, all right. So you weren't hearing it, but that's those are the visuals and I will share sound next time. But you get it, it was just super roots, super duper cheap. And um, let me see if I can't share sound here or stop screen share and start screen share. Sorry, guys. This is, uh, there it is, share computer sound and boom, Bob's your uncle. Okay, so I wanna go through some of these videos now and really quickly uh, tell Benjamin <laughs> my video history with Christafari, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so here we go. I'm not gonna necessarily play them all, um, but I do want to give you guys an, an idea of some of the stuff that we've done. Here's this one right here. Try Jaw Love. And I'm going to make them super big just so that we can... Oh, how do we shut this? Can I just say something to the... Yeah, please. Go right ahead. Um, even though you're using like very cheap equipment, like you just said, your phone. But, I mean, there's still a, a lot of things that go into the video, um, which make it look actually quite cool. You know, you have uh, 
the right composition. You yeah. have him on lower thirds. You have him in a little, you know, box to, you know, so you basically have a nice frame of him as well. So yeah. even though you're using cheap equipment, but still you bring in the filmmaking knowledge as well to make. Yeah. And we're going to get into filmmaking through an iPhone in one week. Luis is going to be better at Lord willing, or he will be doing it from his home. Um, but the first video that we tried to do on our own, where I just said, that's it, I'm going to do a video, was this one right here, Try Ja Love. And I'm not going to play them all because, well, it's a lot of work. But, but there's a few things that we did that were super fun. Uh, I remember seeing a specials music video where the guys were driving in a car. So we got in an old car at night. We got some different colored lights, and we had people swinging the lights by us. <laughs> so it looked like the cars were going cars were going by and then we had somebody jumping up and down on the back of the car So the car was bumping <laughs> It was so rude and then we're like we we don't have wind Where's the wind effect because the guy's laying on the on the hood of the car We really couldn't safely drive although to be honest We've done a few music videos where people have been <laughs> laying on the hood of the car <laughs> But we couldn't safely drive Benjamin. So what we did was we got a, a, a blower like what you would use to blow the, the leaves out of your backyard. We had a blower going in the window. It was like, oh, my dreads were flying everywhere. It was fun. But so if you see us driving in a car and these lights and the wind, that was created for free in somebody's driveway. We then took a painter's drop cloth and we tacked it up on a wall in Jabby's studio and we painted it red, yellow, green. We built a little makeshift studio and we just sang. And then I liked the, the way a shadow was on the back. And so we started dancing and a section of the video is just our silhouette. Just, just not silhouette, what's that called? Shadow dancing? Shadow, yeah. Shadow dancing. So we did that video and then, and then the last one, this shot right here that we have of me and then you can see Jen that was filmed at a local beach other shots were filmed right here in my parents backyard work with what you got mm -hmm. and that's what we did that backyard you see that gazebo i don't know if you can see it well you can also yeah. you can also recognize that in music video know you more and I'm trying to think if there's another one but yeah we work with what we have. That's a big thing. Um, below that, taking in the sun, there's a Spanish version. There's an English version. We filmed that in three different countries, 11 different cities, and we made it, we knit it together like it was one. And the, the story was real simple. Get to the show on time. And then we started joking around, like, what would be a ridiculous way to get to the concert? a bus full of Christafari fans and, and somebody has a chicken. <laughs> uh, Horse-drawn cart. You can see this, this classic little car here, this, this uh, light blue one. That was in the parking lot of the church. I'm like, what if Tyrone drove that? Cause he's a big guy and it's a small car. Mm -hmm. Simple, right? And then I'm like, we need to fake it. Like he's got a, like his car is breaking down. How are we going to do that? Well, we lift up the hood and guess what? The hood's actually not the hood. It's the trunk. The trunk's in the front. <laughs> so we need smoke. <laughs> so, so, so we put, um, we got hot charcoal, like straight from a fire and put it in there and then poured water on it and had him open it up really quick. The only problem was it was right next to the gas tank. <laughs> and then sure enough, as we're filming, somebody comes by with a, with a, a horse and a carriage. We're like, Hey, can he get a ride really quick? Nice. So every every single thing that was shot in that video, none of it was planned out. We just yeah. worked with what we had, worked with what we saw. And if you drive in rural places in, in Brazil, you'll see a horse-drawn cart, and you'll be like, okay, that's where they got it. Same thing, the first video we ever did was this one right here. I love you, Father. Avian Blackman, I love you, Father. And... With that one, we, we set out to, we knew that we had to do a music video and we knew that we didn't have anything. So I went to Circuit City 
and I got a cheap camcorder for 200 bucks. And I looked around the band and I said, who's the best with the, that guy's kind of a nerd. <laughs> we'll hand it to Obi. Hey, Obi, you always said you wanted to get a camera for tour. Hey, use this. And we found a bamboo patch. We found a beach. We found a this, we found a that. We didn't know what the heck we were doing. We just went for it. And so one of the things I want to encourage people is to get started. Just go for it. That same tour, we got creative again and we filmed Freedom Step. We were in Sao Luis, Brazil, and um, this old, beautiful, you know, cityscapes that, that look like La Boca. Mm -hmm. And we just said, hey, what if, what if I walk there? What if I, oh, there's a drunk on the street. What if I sing to him? <laughs> There's a stack of bottles everywhere. What if I what if I sing right next to it? And that was that was it. That was how we did it. We took a little f footage from a concert. Concert footage is always good, but work with what you have. What would you like to add to that? Yeah. No, it's fantastic. Um, just be creative. And sometimes I feel as well as if you have everything on hand, if you have so many options, it kind of stifles your creativity as well sometimes. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's actually good to have less things so it kind of sparks your creativity sometimes you know yeah, yeah i every once in a while there's that one thing like we just um we we just finished a music video for lock and step and i just finished editing it last night and and put all the fin finishing touches but i remember when you saw it you said well that that uh, the it's inset or whatever the the in the shots of the city were kind of inset like surrounded by black I kind of liked that. I almost went with it. Sometimes just get creative, work with what you've got and don't don't sweat about those details. So mm -hmm. sometimes you can go deliberately lo-fi. A few of our videos were shot on camcorders. I wouldn't recommend it in this day and age. I think you have the best camera right here in your pocket and we'll get to that more in the next class. But if you don't have a real budget, one cheap way is to make a lyric video. Um, it still takes time or it takes a little bit of money or a favor. We have found that the least viewed videos are an album cover and a song. Second least is lyrics. Um, and third least is, and then, it, and then it goes to music video. So lyric video can be good. We have some lyric videos that are like a hundred thousand views, but I haven't seen them get to a million yet. But we did a lyric video for, if you want to check it out, the song is not Original Love, it's the other one. No, yeah, Original Love. We did one for Original Love and uh, hired somebody on Fiverr. So I'm going to put this in the chat right now. I think it's F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. Is that what it is? F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. So we outsource some of our stuff on Fiverr. Let me give you an example of that, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to, screen share really quick and i'm going to show you something that i just outsourced on fiverr i think you're going to get a real kick out of this here we go and screen share desktop okay so when we first started doing videos i'm pretty sure maybe around here it's let me check i just gotta have to check the end of something she looks important Oh yeah, she's an insurance agent. She chooses Nationwide to help protect all the families, businesses, and dreams in Peytonville. Looks like she's kind of famous. Oh, I've got her autograph at home. That must be tiny. It is. You can barely read it. All right. PVP, so polyethylene oh glycol, gosh. hooves, <laughs> animal skin, sheep's wool, parabens, artificial Nobody colorants, commercials. Top, titanium dioxide, <laughs> mineral oil, and later. <laughs> Here we go. Um, so we go to the end of this. No, it's not going to show it, is it? We didn't have it yet, darn it. We did all that. Let's see. There it is. That's the logo. Okay. Did you see? Did you see how the logo was static? It was just a shot of a guy. That's our rank and file logo. Okay, so at the end of these videos, you'll see that's it right there. That's the logo. It's it's a guy, and now let's take it to something that's animated. I got it animated on Fiverr, and I had the guy walking a little bit. Oh come on!
Here we go. There should be some walking. A walking guy. Man. No. It's not walking. This is an old old one as well. I am so ill-prepared. Forgive me, guys. But I, I, I see it, though. It's, you see it. A okay, random, yeah. American file title is flickering, right? It goes up and down. Yeah, so, so what happens is I had this guy doing this walk, right? I think I'm going to have to go into the back door of this for a second just so that we don't have these ads out. Forgive me, guys. But I want to tell you something about ads. When you're doing a music video, don't focus on making an ad for the video. Just don't do it. It's a waste of your time. People, when they see something, if they like it, they should be able to watch it then and there. So I lead more towards the uh, Kanye West or Beyonce thing. When they have something, they drop it. They don't tease and tease and tease and tease. Um, so sometimes if you tease and then it doesn't, doesn't match up to the tease, mm. you're going to let people down. You don't want to let people down. So, okay, here's a, an example of, this is, this is, um, okay, yours was not the animated one, right? Here we go. And seriously, still with the ads. <laughs> So here's the end. Steve's animated. But he's not really walking. He's... You can't see him walk. Okay, so I had this idea. And this idea was to make that into a real guy. So how am I going to do it? Okay, well, let's look at the screen now. First thing we have is an army helmet. I don't have one of those. I had to spend some money. And so with the army helmet, I went on and for $11 on Amazon, I got myself an army helmet. So next thing I needed was some straps. Oh, I can get straps. Pants and a jacket, no problem. Okay, what about this right here? What are we going to do about that? And so I will show you what we did. Let me get out of sharing. Okay, here we go. We were sitting and we were sitting in our living room and and I said, Kavahina, Marcus, you have a task. I need you to make me a camera. And they're like, well, what are, what are we supposed to do? So I showed them the screenshot. It needs to look like an old camera. Okay, well, um, uh, where do I start? I'm like, I grabbed something that was already on the counter. Guess what this is? Looks like a box. Yeah. It's a donut box. Oh. A box of donuts. Kavahana had bought some donuts. I'm like, it's simple. You just yeah. grab a box of donuts. Guess what this is? Oh, is it a, a cup? Or a. What is it? Water What's bottle. Like I just oh. took scissors to a water bottle. I poked a hole with my knife. I took scissors to a water bottle. I stuck it in. Guess what this is? Anything. Oh. Yeah. A Paper towel tube. Paper, Paper towel. It. Yep. I keep it light. Would you like some orange juice? <laughs> orange juice? Right? Then we had to figure out how to make these. And what do you think we did? I have no idea. So you, you know what styrofoam bowl, like you would eat cereal out of? Mm -hmm. I cut it so that just the top of the bowl, and then I taped them, I taped two bowls together. So this is two bowls taped together, and then they made that, and then we just duct taped the heck out of it, spray painted it, and voila. Now, then we had to hire somebody to make this real. And then we went into my parents' my parents' garage, which is where Christ Fire got started, which is, you know, 100 feet that direction. We put up a blue screen, and let me show you my tutorial for the guy. Now, this is the coolest thing. I, I called Luis. Luis did me a huge favor. He came with his camera, 
And I said, shoot this. And he's like, you know what? Your phone is going to be better. Hand me your phone. So with my phone, he shot. Let me screen share now. Okay. Let me go back to this now and go back. All right. So with my phone, he shot. This is, the, this is me hiring the person and telling them how to do it. Uh, let me see here. Darn these commercials. Stadia streams games directly from Google's data centers to your devices. So we're taking an old logo that we have and we want to make a new logo for YouTube videos. And uh, so this is going to be at the bottom. This is going to be what we need to have this be what the guy is walking on. So like the version of what chroma key. Okay, there it is. Change the color myself in case I ever want to go. Okay. And... I just did a rough test. I'll want it color so I can, you know, change the color myself in case I ever want to go back. But um, just a very, very rough version of what I'm looking to get done is this. So we have the guy walking. Um, I did a rough chroma key. Did a rough chroma key. What we're gonna, you're gonna need to do is keep him color, but get rid of the the background and clear up all this area under his feet. I'll send you the version under his feet is white actually, but um, okay, so it does that. And then at about, well. So there, there you have it. And then five. And then I, I tell him where I want it to go. And here's the end result. Lord willing, we will get to it quickly. And seriously. How do I get back now? I'm trying to hit back. Okay, there it is. Okay, so let me go back and show you the end result on the end of our latest music video, Lock and Step. Let's try this side. Uh-oh. It's playing somewhere. So here's the end. This is the end of the video here. You go, just need a follow. Yes, I follow you, Lord. How go where you go? Just need a follow. Yes, I follow you, Lord. We try and always point people towards the Word of God towards Christ, bring them to Christ, do whatever we can in each video. Here's the outro that we created. So that's an example of what you can do in your garage with an orange bottle, a water bottle, a box of donuts, four bowls, a bunch of duct tape, a friend, an army helmet. The cost of that was $11 for the army helmet. Um, and the real cost was the $100 to hire somebody on Fiverr to, to, kill the, to do the chroma key right because we didn't light it right. And then to add the effects of it going, I gave him each of the pieces, he put them all together. And um, that's the kind of creativity that we want to instill in you. I had this idea. What if the guy turned? What if it went in? What if you saw his eye? What if you saw the world? Nothing new. That's the cover of MEC's album, Visions of the Father. It was my eye in the album. That was not a new thing, but to do it in a new way. And so I just want to encourage you guys to, to think outside the box. What would you like to add to that, Benjamin? Well, that's great. 
Uh, when you mentioned about the chroma key and the, the backdrop, yeah, um, yeah, it's very important that you you light it. Um, even We've done it wrong too many ways. And well, yeah, it should be well lit, and every corner should be pretty much well lit. Yeah, even we did a. A music video with Jenna Man, where we sat down and said, "Well, what are we going to do? I have no idea. We have an hour or, or two hours. Let's do a music video right now." So we went to his house. We got a blue sheet. We hung it on the wall, mm. and we pulled it tight with rocks. So it's it's hanging from the roof. It's hanging from the bottom with rocks. We got direct sun on it, and he's just singing his parts, and then I sing my parts, and then Luis had such a problem with the chroma key just clearing it out that we that there were always these bits and bobs so he's like mark i think i need to add some other textures so i said what if we did a kaleidoscope there's all kinds of blue in a kaleidoscope and then i thought what if it went inside a kaleidoscope and kids saw it and we included kids and so that became that video we were we were painted into a corner because of bad chroma key but we got creative instead and 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 worked played to our our weaknesses and made them strengths if you will some other options yeah go um, ahead and um, just because i just forgot earlier um is that you should uh, you should be quite far away from the backdrop as well and have yeah. a long lens to zoom in so, so there's no shadow uh, which means that there's yeah. a big it has to be a big backdrop. First is the shadow, and the second one is there's no green lighting spilling onto the. the We've subject. had a lot of that issue too. Yeah, green light spill, no fun. Yeah, we learned that the hard way. When quarantine hit, we put a big green screen in my parents' garage, and uh, I think think we filmed four videos there. Uh, COVID, the that one was there. Pandemic. Um, Amy Gongo, which is yet to be released. So will I, 10 billion times, which is yet to be released. What we're going to do with that one is we have people and where there's darkness, where there's a shadow on their face on, or on their head, we're going to be do a double exposure and do like a waterfall or a city or trees or something. So it's going to be a double or triple exposure, which is one filming technique. There are so many cool filming techniques we can do. We can just go down the list for hours on this. Before we do go down the list as quickly as we can of some ideas, I said consider making a lyric video. Another one is record a live performance. But if you do that, make sure that you have as many angles as possible and um one thing that that one band did was they told everybody to use their phones and to film the concert from their perspective even themselves and whatever and then at the very very end of the show hey airdrop it to us and and that's that's basically how they made the music video we did that with our clean heart music video. If you watch that, Solomon Jabby's on that. We're in a bus, we're having fun. That was all iPhone. And that was just random shots of the entire tour. We just kind of pieced together. I edited that one, not proud of it, but it did its trick. Another thing you can do is beg for favors. I would encourage you the same way that I asked Obi to take the camera to find somebody that has a really good eye and and or somebody that knows cameras and say hey can you help me with this maybe even rent a camera for a day the kind of camera that we want to encourage you to rent unless you're going to go with a phone which we can talk about next week is a dslr describe that and give us some options yeah um well this is a camera which is used to be mainly used for photos but now it's just so the video uh the video mode is just so good that people are yeah. using it for videos more yeah. and more um well great thing about that is that you can get a quite similar look to like cinema you know like you have that um that nice out of focus you know like that nice shadow depth of field that you get mm -hmm. and where the subject is in focus and everything in the backdrop is just you know completely out of focus mm -hmm. um you can get things like in your last video, like you can get the bokeh effect. Um, and it's just, it's great also because you can, when you shoot it with a flat picture profile, 
then you can do so much in close production. Yeah. You can change colors. You can um, yeah, just manipulate so much. You can bring up the shadows if there's not enough details in the shadows. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just so much you can do. If you saw the promo for this, for this class, you saw Ziza in her diapers. <laughs> in the desert <laughs> filming Hosanna. Obviously she wasn't the director, but she thought she was directing. Um, the camera that, that we used and the little slider is all we used for the entire video. It was one guy, one camera, no reflector. I don't think we used a reflector at all in that one. About half of our music videos, we never used a reflector. Now a reflector can give you light, like there's there's bad light on my face. You know, sometimes you want to go to natural light. A reflector can, can give you that. And we mentioned last week that silver is the preferred color unless you want the person to look orange. But white is ideal. You use the white and it just kind of, it just kind of gives a little bit of light. If you notice when, whenever you, if you happen to see anybody filming a major commercial or, or music video or a movie, TV show, there are giant screens of white or black that are blocking or filtering the sun or, or bouncing the sun, reflecting it on the actors so the light is perfect. And so lighting is, is a crucial thing. The second I start watching a music video, if the lighting is bad like it is on my face right now, I'm like, oh, that's just, that's just not ideal. Now look at this guy's face. Look at Benjamin's face. <laughs> the lighting's perfect. <laughs> I have two lights here, actually. You've got, you've got lights. a little, a little so bit of a, a Rembrandt. I have a, yeah, that's from the, from that. So I have a, a, a kind of shoulder, like a hair light. Yeah. This one here. Uh -huh. And then that one is the, the key light. Yeah. So I have two lights here. That's on this one. You see that? And it creates this little like triangle on, on his, that cheek. <laughs> and, and yeah, I think things like that lighting is great. A invest uh, or rent some cheap lighting. We used to use for, for all our first videos, we used Home Depot lights, just kind of work lights, not ideal. We mentioned last class to use something like these. Take a screenshot of that, screenshot that. And this one has natural light, tungsten or whatever that is. And then it goes through all the different hues. And so when you look at the image of Nikita on this cover for for uh, the, the next music video, which we're dropping tomorrow, by the way, uh, we're gonna, in fact, in our social media class, we're gonna show you how we release a music video, how we promote it, and all the different things we do to try and get as many people to hear the message as possible. But we used a blue light on one side and a white light on the other side. And that created this depth that, that was rich. Her hair was blue and, and so on every, Every time you see me or her, there's a an off color, like a, a colorful light and then a white light. And that helps a lot. We just use two of those in the entire video and one guy on a camera and then one guy with the boom, a little speaker playing. That's all we had. We had no reflectors, no permits, nothing. And have you ever, you don't, you don't get permits, right? When you film? Uh, d depends. Like, yeah. Uh, if you if you can get one, yes. Um, I actually have not shot at so many locations where it was not allowed to shoot. Yeah. Um, another thing is that I th I think most of the places you can shoot in, in public, it's just that yeah. you cannot have a tripod, so you yeah. cannot have anything that stands on three legs. Three legs. So you or use one. a one a, a one pod or what do you call it? Monopod. When you, yeah, when you use a monopod, it should be fine. Yeah. I call it a one pod. <laughs> 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 so, so I would I would start with a, a reflector, a five-in-one reflector, as we mentioned last class. I would mm -hmm. get two of these. I would. Get I have a, another. Uh, have another ahead. one before we start this. Um, I think it's very important. This uh, gaffer tape. Gaffer tape. You can yeah. gaffer tape. You can do so much with that. Yeah, tape. Yeah. You you always need that for some reason. Tape so is a good thing. You need a toolbox. Yeah. Yep, and maybe a few CDs to give away to somebody to bribe them to not to not arrest you for filming. <laughs> no, no. Um, when people come up and say, "What are you filming?" I'm like, "Something for YouTube." Mm -hmm. It's it's 
definitely not a commercial major thing. It, it doesn't look threatening when we do it. Um, and we've we filmed me on an elephant. We filmed me petting tigers and lions and all kinds of things. So, um, so yeah, another thing is you can limit the number of locations if if but i wouldn't recommend that i would i would have at least three locations take me somewhere continue to take me somewhere if you can scroll from the beginning to the end of the video and be in the same place nobody's going to want to watch um mm. but you i would do three to eight locations but if you want to limit that down to just three that can save um you can take advantage of green screens um maybe you can do this uh, can you in the chat send them the stock footage libraries that are free do you have that do you have access yes. to to throw that in the chat okay so benjamin had just had just forwarded this to me the other day where he had all these stock websites that are free so mm -hmm. he's going to be adding that and he's going to be yeah. sending that to you guys right now in the chat copy that save that somewhere on your desktop and um and one of the things that we want to encourage you to do in that is um there's a song called and type this out also uh at any cost somebody put that in the chat at any cost there's a chat section in at any cost and let me see if i can Pull this up. This is our challenge to you for this week. Let's see here. At any cost. Do you have the album in front of you? Um, I can't see. Sorry, Mark. Do you need it from me? Um, yeah. Do you have the Do you have the song at any cost? Oh, let me see. I may have it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I found it. Sorry. Okay. okay. I found it. And there are so many versions of it. Let me pull it up really quick. Pull up the spot that it happens in the song. And. <laughs> Okay, so the song is at any cost, and we want to do a challenge for you guys to Okay, so there is there's a section there's a chat that I do in this song, right? And what I want to do is I want to give you the guys the opportunity to try and marry some images to it and uh, and see how creative you can get. You can use any of the stock stuff. you can shoot something on your own. But I'm talking about things. I'm talking about visa problems. I'm talking about missed flight. I'm talking about stomach troubles. I'm talking about mosquito bites. You can find these things. The problem is, is if there's anything that you use, you can't use something that you rip off of YouTube. It has to be something that you either got through a licensed or that you got through a free site like this. Okay, so let me share the screen and play you the song. Here we go, and share. I can't tell you how many times people say, man, I wish I had your job. I would have traveled the world. I'm not complaining. You're only getting three minutes. I've got some things, some problems, and I'm on a miss flight. Stomach trouble, I'm too many mosquito bites. Long days of travel, different day, a different time. Jet lag, lost bags, too many sleepless nights. All worth it when we play night after night. Yes, it is. It is all worth it because we're doing it all for Christ. Oh, is it all worth it when we play so many shows? Oh, it is all worth it because we're seeing God say so. Okay, there we go. So that is is three minutes, or I said, did I say three minutes in or two minutes in? Let me see. Yeah, three minutes to three. Is it all worth it when we place Yeah, so three minutes to three thirty, I believe it is. If if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me. Um but yeah, three minutes to three thirty, so it's about thirty seconds. And in those thirty seconds I talk about these things that we face. Now you can rip 
anything from any one of our music videos, but you can't rip from somebody else's video on YouTube. You can rip from anything. If like if you search Mosquito Bites on, on a, a free download site or whatever and you have somebody itching, that's great. If you want to be literal, you can be literal. If you want to be do whatever you want, marry whatever images you want, and whoever's images we like the best, we're going to feature on our social media, and we may even feature it in our music video. You never know. So it's 30 second segment. Um, I, I will ask that it's 1080p, right? 1080p is what we need. Yep. And um, have what? One have minute, one minute max. Yeah. Yeah, one minute max. So it's it's about thirty seconds, three minutes to basically that whole chat from uh, visa problems and another miss. So visa problems. You could be stamps. It could be this. It could be. V I don't don't just think outside the box. Be creative. Have fun with it. And you could even do it all on your phone. Tell us about how they could do that. Awesome. Yeah, you can just use a, a editor on your phone the same way that you would use it on a computer. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are a few limitations, of course, but yep. uh, I think if you're having a good story, you know, you can just have simple cuts. It doesn't need that much. Yeah. yeah so we I haven't... just um, posted the I just posted the stock websites in the chat. Okay. Um, so it's it's listed from what I think is the the best one to the least. Okay. Um, so, so the first one there's a lot of really high quality footage on it. It's beautifully shot. And then okay. I think the, one of the last ones, there's there's not so much, and it's hard to find things. But um, yeah, maybe if, if you don't find anything on the on the top four or five, then you'll find it hopefully in the in the other ones. Nice. And I'm gonna add something to that since some of you guys do Are not speak not, English as your first I'm language. A, sorry, I'm just seeing a, somebody who's writing that he cannot see the post. Um, that's strange. Okay. I'm trying to post it again. But I'll handle it. You're good. Okay. Okay. So I, I've got um, I've got the lyrics now. I'm going to put them in as well so that you guys can see this. And here we go in the chat, in the group chat, and uh, to all panelists and attendees. And boom, Bob's your uncle. Okay, those are the lyrics. Copy those as well, and let's blaze through some of these some of these ideas here. Okay, I will say this: put some cash aside whenever you do any project for post production or editing, for special effects, especially color grading. I don't color grade myself. I I, I look like my face looks like right now. I I just you need to get somebody who knows what they're doing with that. And you can get it done pretty cheaply, but I, I would definitely trust somebody else who knows how to color grade photos or, or videos particularly. Um, think of it like mastering music. Music, you don't just finish the mix and are done. You get it mastered. That's what color grading is. Uh, shoot at 60 frames per second so you can slow-mo. Shoot, if you, if you use more frames, you can slow it down. But if you shoot at 30 or 24 and you slow it down, it's going to be glitchy and it just won't look right. If you want to go for a look, the slow-mo look is a good one. Mm -hmm. B-roll, the importance of B-roll. B-roll means it could be me walking. It could be uh, the local people. It could be a kid smiling. It could be a sunset. As you watch the music video we drop tomorrow, you will see B-roll. You'll see the camera going in to uh, Times Square. You'll see the aerial shots. That video was shot completely for free, although I did go on a helicopter. Cost me 150 bucks to get up on a helicopter, um, 300 for the two of us, and we shot our own aerial shots, and they sucked. They were like this the whole time. <laughs> it did not work. So we ended up using the stock footage that we had free access to. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Sometimes... It's better to just go with stock footage. If you don't have a reflector, maybe a piece of cardboard and some tin foil. But what would be better, I think, would be a white sheet. We've done it where we've just laid a white sheet, even the hotel sheet, on the ground in front of us. Mm -hmm. When we did 
Waymaker. I had this vision of Avion having this really long dress. And it wasn't long enough. So we borrowed a bunch of hotel sheets. And, we, and, we, and Connor's hiding behind the rock with the boom. And it was it was awesome. But so if you look at it, that's just a bunch of hotel sheets and Avion in a dress. Speaking of dresses, guys, 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 let's say you're doing an album cover and you want this to be the best album in the world. Are you going to put on the same shirt that you wore yesterday? Are you going to actually go to the mall or, or, or shop online and find that one thing that makes you look the best? Well, it should be the same way with a music video. And you should change shirts. You should change outfits. You should change locations. So one of the things that probably aside from when we have somebody edit and or shoot and we pay them to do that one of the really only costs that we ever have with videos is an outfit for avion she gets them for super cheap on super on, on certain places but um you know they're, they're coming from china or wherever sometimes amazon but that dress for oceans that the girls walking on the water with the dress that avion's wearing it was probably about $200 for both of them. And it made the video. Imagine if Avi just wore a white t-shirt for oceans. It wouldn't have been the same. The black dress that she's wearing and the white outfit that Nikita's wearing in what a beautiful name, probably about 150 bucks or 120 for the two of them, but they made that video. So costume is paramount with lighting, with focus, with everything else. I would say costume is paramount. Would you agree there? No, definitely, yeah. I mean, you besides a beautiful, I mean, you have a beautiful location, maybe, but the actors definitely you need to have exactly. Sure. And it's not just the the location, but it's the angles. Like for instance, I see this really cool wall, and I'm like, oh, that'd be awesome. Let's film in front of it. You just have somebody stand straight up in front of the wall. No, there's angles. The way you angle the the person's body, you see. I look a little skinnier now than I do right now. There's different ways. You you don't shoot somebody this big from below. You shoot them from above. Um, there are certain ways that you can angle, not just with lighting, but with the camera. For instance, if this is the table, right? Now, most people that don't know cameras would shoot the table like this or like this, right? Just pretty much straight on. But cinematographers typically angle like that. They, they find these angles and these lines, like whether it's piers, a, a pier or, or poles or things like that, and they play to those. And you learned that in film school. I learned that after too many music videos. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can use a lot of things for leading lines. You can use uh, the street pavement. You can use uh, uh, architecture. And, yeah, uh, a lot of architecture. To, to point to where the eye should go. Yep, yep, definitely. Leading lines, that's what it's called. Now, now gimbal. We talked about a gimbal the other day. I know Luis says when I, I mean, there's a great stabilization with the iPhone, but Luis always says, hold it with both hands, especially if we're driving. Mm -hmm. And he wants it to be steady. But I, I saw some guys in a video the other day where they were filming something on the counter and they put a towel on the counter. They were holding the phone and they were pulling the towel so that it was steady. We did a promo of some kids probably in India or Pakistan or someplace, and they're on a cart, and the guy's pulling them, and they're doing action with their with their sandals, their slippers. It was so cool when I saw that. I'm like, this is rank and file. This is how we do things, man. By the way, we've never done the, the action thing. We That's just never been our thing. We have, like, three people on set, if that, and we just kind of keep moving forward. But... There, there are some ways we've used shopping carts. In, in um, the last video we released, You Are Loved, the guy's running and the camera's next to him. Luis is sitting on a skateboard. <laughs> he's sitting on a skateboard. He's, oh! And he almost crashed so many times and he's got the cameras. But it's epic. So skateboards, what else can you use for, for steady? I can use uh, roller skates. Ooh. Yeah, wheelchair. I think wheelchair is good as well. Yeah, anything that rolls. <laughs> in wheelchair, I, I, yeah, we've used that before. We, one time, um, aside from shopping carts, I'm remembering the top of my car. I got Obi standing up on the top of my Honda Element filming 
and and what he did was he was he was at the train and the train was parked and jen was in the very front of the train and then i just went Whoop! and he held on for his life as he's i don't know how he did it but it, maybe he put his feet under my racks my surf racks but we backed up quickly and then we reversed the shot and it was like the train was coming right at you so there are ways to do that and we also drove alongside the train to create this look like the train was moving but it never was the art of that music video was the four outfits that jen is wearing and and those were all purchased by avion so a stylist i think a stylist find somebody that's really good at styling you a stylist make maybe makeup artist um but again pull pull favors and make sure you trust the person you're working with um <laughs> Homemade smoke machine. We made one in Brazil. <laughs> Almost set the place on fire, but we used aerosol cans to create a smoke machine effect for outsiders in that tunnel. And when we ran out, when, when the four cans ran out, <laughs> I was kicking dust with my feet <laughs> to kind of, so there's like horse manure we were breathing in, <laughs> but it worked. It worked. And I think that's one of the best shots, that tunnel shot. And we found that out just by scouting, scout, scout, scout. So how many, how many locations would you prefer to do if you were doing a music video? Um, yeah, I think three locations would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, also depends on the concept, I guess. But I think yeah. three locations just have a variety as well, yeah. Variety is good. And then what I prefer to do is I prefer to stay in that location for a section of the song and then go to the next location, and then go to the next location. Now, some people would say ABC, ABC, ABC all throughout the video. I feel like you're not seeing anything new if you do that. Mm -hmm. And so I, I prefer to kind of get the best. And as I was talking with Avion last night about it, she said, remember to tell the people to do far away, you know, far away, medium, close up, super close up, and then maybe some other shots, some artistic shots r rotating around the person. She loved uh, how both how both you and Luis do that. So, and I would I would add you for to come up with some creative concepts. I asked you guys a week ago to come up with a creative concept for our music video that we're going to be doing soon, Lord willing, for you say. One person emailed me. Nobody else did. Thank you for emailing me, by the way. Come up with a creative concept. When you do, if you can't describe that story in one or two sentences, it's too much for a music video. So people pick up pieces and make a cross. Uh, outsiders rejected by church create their own church that accepts the rejectors. It's at that. That's probably the heaviest one. Um, come up with a story, and I would encourage you to come up with a few stories. Close your eyes, pray, God, what do you see? It could be a modern version of a parable that Jesus is telling. Come up with a concept, and a few, and then run them by creatives. Chances are your church has some a drama department. Ask the people there. Anybody that's ever written a script for your church to help get creative with those people and then ask people to be honest, which idea is best and then go with that. Thoughts on that? No, absolutely. Um, I think it's always good to have friends around that you can just uh, talk plainly with, you know, so you share your idea and then you just yeah. get your, your feedback and then you just uh, adjust to that and learn from that and grow. Yeah, definitely. we were talking about the the strength of the, the how crucial that is for songwriting mm -hmm. and um and i believe it's the same and i have that relationship with you and with luis where i'll give you a few ideas and you're like no i don't like that one i do like that one no let's try this or you'll come up with an idea and and in some cases you'll work with somebody who has the ideas mm -hmm. but as an artist as a creative i would definitely make sure that that you like the ideas as well because you're going to be marrying your song to that and so you definitely need to do that i'm very hands-on so i write the songs i demo the songs i record the songs produce mix 
I don't master them. That's the one thing I don't do. I come up with the visual idea for the music video. I could tell you a story for every single song that we've recorded in the last seven years. A wicked music video. Not all of them were ever recorded. Quite a few just didn't make it because we didn't have the time or the budget or whatever. But I come up with these ideas, sometimes a few ideas, and then I have to figure out how to do it. A week ago, I asked you guys, how do we make our daughter fly? If you know how to do it, um, if you had any ideas, put it in the comments. And if anybody comes up with a unique one that I think is good, um, as I'm talking, Benjamin, would you check the comments and see if anybody came up with a good idea? The chat, um, it came up with a good idea of how to make her fly. We were think we were talking about using pulleys, using uh, having her in front of a blue screen and laying on some something that's blue, and then maybe a, a blower. Um, we're trying to figure out creative ways to do it. I don't know how to do it yet. I have a lot of visions. I have a a kind of thriller like zombie music video called Dr Valley of Dry Bones that I'm trying to figure out how to make zombies get normal flesh. I don't know how, but you may see it this Halloween. <laughs> so I, don't let your ideas be stifled by, I can't do that. All, sometimes all it takes is an orange bottle, a donut box, a little creativity. So. So be hands-on. Don't be the artist waiting for other people to come up with the ideas and to do it. I would try and learn how to, I, I would personally encourage you to learn Final Cut Pro um, because it's easier than, I think it's easier than, and, and has more, more in, in, in suite kind of plugins and things naturally. But it's either that or Premiere. I would learn how to use them. I am heavily involved in the shooting of our stuff, though I'm not the guy behind the camera. I never operate the camera. I make sure that the angles are right, that I like what's being shot. And then everybody else, the other people I work with, line things up. Sometimes I even comp down and edit an entire video like Oceans. But what I prefer to do is what Benjamin did with uh, Crisis Risen, what Luis did with um, ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da. <laughs> oh, one of our videos, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> um, the, but How Great Is Our God and others where where he he basically edited the whole thing and then I come in and make a few tweaks. I love that because it's less work, but I will spill, still sometimes spend 10 to 12 hours editing after somebody's already spent five days. How many days do you take to edit a music video? Benjamin? Uh, I think it depends really on uh, also the story and what's what's needed for it. Um, um, yeah, I think the rough cut is is done very quickly once once uh, I lined all the different shots up. I think the rough cut is very quickly done. Yeah. But then also, um, yeah, it depends on, on how much, how are the transitions, it depends on the titles. Yeah. And a lot of time goes on titles as well. Yeah. And um, yeah, and, and then there's color grading, and then there's also getting rid of noise, things like that. That takes yeah. a lot of time. Uh, it takes yeah. a little how time. Take, how long did it take for the um, views risen? Maybe I'm not sure. A week and a half, two weeks. Seven. Yeah, we we like to say two weeks is a safe amount of time, but mm -hmm. I, I've seen Louise take from the day we finished shooting um, on Monday to Friday release. I've seen him do that pretty consistently. He does have it down to a science. He's done about 40 music videos with us. But keep in mind, if you're going to learn the stuff, that time equals money. And um, I encourage everybody to learn it, but realize that, that if you're not doing that, it may be better for you to work your job and pay somebody else to do it who can do it in, in a quarter of the time. But you still should learn how to edit the same way you should learn how to produce yourself, mix yourself, record yourself. Um, or Fiverr it. Hire somebody for five, ten, a hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred dollars to do something like that, and and maybe that it'll help. Um, we shop at Salvation Army when we want to get props. Salvation Army or Goodwill. We go really cheap, but don't skimp on location and treatment or story. Don't don't try and save your money on that. Spend 
your time on on the concept and get it out there it's um now here's a great example of of what there's an artist that we worked with i won't say their name but we said hey we want to do a music video we think it's time for you to do a music video they were pretty popular and i think we can do it for probably like at that time like a thousand dollars or seven hundred dollars and they said oh i know this guy at my church and he he does stuff for television for this major tv show and he's going to do the video instead and um the video costed fifteen thousand dollars i'm getting some uh answers in in the chat okay we'll get to it in one second so the video the video costed him fifteen thousand dollars and they were going to rent this section of this city they were going to block it out everything was going to work out great and on the day of they didn't get the permits and so he got that guy with a camera for fifteen thousand dollars so he didn't get what he paid for so be very very cautious with that okay what are what are they saying here uh, Carlene is saying um, maybe to do it similar than in Backsliders. How you made the main character? Looks okay, the great question. I made the, I, we went on our balcony of our house. We laid down a blue cloth on, on the asphalt. And we had the guy with his back on a very small chair that was narrower than his back. So it was off the ground. And then we just had him do this, flail his arms. And then we spun it. And we blocked out that we we got rid of the blue we spun it a little bit um the challenge is that's more of a falling effect when they're falling away that was shot in just to probably 30 minutes at night with a few lights super simple super easy a little more work and the after effects but i'm glad you remembered that but what we want is her flying like a superhero that's the challenge there <laughs> that's funny that you remember that Somebody was saying, like, jump high like the Maasai. So jump really high, that's what you mean, Abigail, I think. Jumping really high, yeah. Well, one <laughs> thing we're thinking of is to shoot the camera really down low at a small hill. And then we have Ziza run and jump over the camera. And we can, she jumps over it. And then we have somebody on the other side with maybe some cloths and some boxes and some, I don't know, inflatables, something that she can land, mattresses, something she can land on that won't hurt her. But that's just for one shot. That's for the leaping shot. We still need to, another thing we were thinking is the back of a truck or our car has a, has a moon roof. She stands up and we just get the close up of her face with the trees and the, and the things moving that fast. But again, that's a close up we still need to get the far away ones and then the joanna is sending in a, a a youtube link okay um, great I'm not sure if you could see that here somehow could then, you okay it's not a gospel you, the technique was very creative a look into the two minute okay i was shooting inside the pool in a green screen is that the one one okay i'll look into that after definitely um Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. This is all good stuff. Um, so some other things that I wanted to go over was this, um, film during your next vacation. If you notice the strength of a lot of our music videos is the location. And so when we, if you go to Hawaii film there, um, and, and just Google best places to photograph in Oahu, if you're there, best places to photograph in, I do that all the time for here. That's how I found out about, the old Los Angeles zoo. And I'm like, what? There's an old LA zoo and there's actually bars. Huh? I could use that for when I want to do a fake jail. And that's where we came up with the idea for upside down. I filmed in my living room when I had all these pipes and tubes in my mouth and all those phones that was filmed in my living room with the, just a black cloth. So you can get creative with that. And, um, what are some other things? Anything else coming to mind here? Um, I have some ideas just for, for equipment. Yeah, like, go for it. I mean, like nowadays you can really just YouTube everything. So if you YouTube. don't, for example, if you don't have a, uh, if you don't have a gimbal, then you can um, just Google search DIY gimbal. You so showed me one that was so cool. It was a guy used a bunch of PVC pipe and put yeah. it all together. 
I'll see if I can pull up the image of that that you sent to me. That was that was in, in, in Bolaneve Church. Yeah, Bolaneve was doing that. So um, do it yourself, Gimbal. <laughs> Classic. I don't know how it stabilizes, but it's. <laughs> So yeah, um, definitely there are so many ways. Okay, so I want to blaze blaze through some other things. Anything else you want to say there that comes to mind before we? Um, no, you go ahead. Okay, all right, here we go. Creative ideas for a music video. If you have your phone, you may want to start recording because I don't know how long it's going to take us to get you this video. But these are things that we've done in videos that there's nothing new under the sun. One take music video. Coldplay did it. Lauren Daigle did it with You Say. It's a lot of work to block everything, meaning the, the how you're walking and what you're doing. And the lighting has to be locked in on your phone or whatever you're using. But if you do it right, you don't have to edit. We did that with Fly Away. Fly Away was like probably five or six different shots that we put together. Most one takes are not one take, by the way. 1917 was not one take. That was That was quite a few takes. Um, lyrics on a card. Uh, Bob Dylan, Subterranean Homestick Blues did that. We did that, and he is greater than I. We used cardboard, and he is greater than I. Uh, vignette, which is when there's like black around, like a, how do you explain it? It's like it's almost a little bit of black around the edges of the screen. Yeah, we did yeah. that in, in Cries of the City. Sepia tone, which is a, it's not black and white. Black and white is an option. Sepia is like a brown filter. We did that in Valley of Decision. Old film look. Uh, like I said, we did black and white. Uh, many people have, the, have done black and white. We did it in Reckless Love. Or you could go the opposite, vibrant color. We did that when we did How Great Is Our God. We found this place in the middle of nowhere. Coldplay had filmed a music video there. And... As Coldplay had filmed there, I, I believe some other artists had. It was bright. It was colorful. It said, Jesus loves you everywhere. I'm like, what? This is perfect. So we went there. We filmed in one day. We used red, yellow, and green duct tape. Here's another trick we did. We slowed down the song as slow as we could. So I'm like, oh, Lord, my God. Like that. And then we double or triple time it. So I'm like, oh Lord, my God. I was, it was crazy. It made it frantic. It made it, it made it intense. Another thing you can do is the opposite of that. And this is something that we, that Coldplay did in yellow. Um, by the way, Coldplay's yellow was their first video. They set up to have this beach party and everything was going to be happy and then it rained all day <laughs> and in the last few minutes he's like you know what forget it let's do something completely different everybody else can go home me and the camera i'm gonna walk and i'm gonna sing in one take and that was yellow and it was revolutionary and so and and what they did though was they they sped up the song uh, yeah yeah they sped up the song to double time and then they half timed it so let's say you film it 120 or 60 and then you half time it to 60 or 30 and so what what we do in oceans we started doing this in yeshua and in what a beautiful name when you see somebody dancing and it's slow in waymaker you see the streamer but the streamer is going like this it's not going like this so we filmed it in double time we're singing, what do you make? Me look over, I'm keep up, I don't got this. You have to be perfect in time with your mouth. And then you have time it, and all your motions are like this instead of like this. So that's that's a crucial, crucial one. But again, right outfits, the whole band's in white, right images, right background. Those things all come into play. Um, depth of field. Tell them what depth of field is and how they need to use that in their video. Um, depth of field is the, it's like the, how do you call this, the, the zone that is in focus. And then you have, um, yeah, you have out of focus behind yeah. it and out of focus in front of it. 
which is yeah. a little zone. Yeah, and then um, if you have a, a shallower depth of field, then it's, this zone is smaller. Mm -hmm. so you, just little in focus and a, yeah. a wide depth of field, then you have more things in focus. And there's a, there's an effect. I don't know what it's called. I call it the Hitchcock effect. But right. if you move in on something, and at the same time you're doing this to to pull back, or you do the opposite, you pull back and you, you pull back and go in. But it creates this this movement where the person stays in the same place, but their background goes whoa or back, and it's really really cool. It's used to to for this moment of realization of intensity we use that in rescue me when the guy realized that he was about ready to be killed by his nemesis and and so it creates this this tension and so that's really cool yeah depth of field is is something that is very very important and that's one of the things that a DSLR camera gives that another one doesn't and with that depth of field if you film far away from somebody at night and there's lights behind them and you zoom in on the person those lights behind them will now look like hexagonal kind of a stop signs of different colors when you see our music video launch tomorrow the entire video is about bokeh or bokeh however you want to pronounce it but it, we use that vibrant color that depth of field and that backlight um we used extreme slow motion and Sila, you hit the symbols, you see the symbols do this. Obi's doing a front flip and he's like moving like this. Extreme slow mo is a good one. Sun flares, finding that backlight. You said you always like to shoot with the light behind you, right? Behind the, the character. Oh, I do like it a lot, yeah. It yeah. Is, and then you can just use one reflector just to fill yep. a bit of shadow and then you have a really nice image. It's perfect. Of course, next week we'll be talking iPhone music video. We talked about green screen. We talked about double exposure. Deep storytelling. If you don't have a story to tell, tell your own story. We did that with The Love of Jaw. We told my testimony. You can go short film. You can do multi-episode. So when you watch Lock and Step tomorrow, the predecessor to it in the same city Though it's different stories, it's the nighttime of New York. Sometimes you can do that. Other times you can do it like we did with Backslider, where there's four or five parts, and it may continue. It, it, that, that's something that's fun. Episodic, making it many episodes. You can do many stories coming together. Avengers, it's been done. The Disciples, <laughs> The Chosen. <laughs> um, I have come up with music video ideas from the simplest things post-it notes let's put a bunch of them together and make a mural of jesus and that's ten thousand reasons um you can you can get really really creative with all of these things fire uh fireworks artwork graffiti we're filming a video that where you're filming uh, we haven't released it yet but you are filming somebody painting tell us about that yeah, uh, so we have uh, this amazing, talented guy, Kaka. Oh, he was amazing. So he was uh, drawing the, no, not drawing, he was spray painting and painting the album cover of uh, At Any Cost on the wall of, of Bola de Neve Church. Mm -hmm. And it's just beautiful. And yeah, and I filmed a time lapse of it doing it. I filmed, mm -hmm. filmed different shots. We shot an, an interview with him as well. Yeah. And yeah, we got really creative. I actually look super, forward to that too. super close up things I like to do when somebody's doing that is find some sort of plexiglass or glass and have yeah. them paint the glass in front of the camera. Um, we did that something like that with um, when Avion was cleaning in the pandemic video. We just took a clear pot, uh, the, the top of a pot, and we put that right in front of the camera and we just had her spray and then wipe whatever you can get creative, whether it's stunts whether it's using mirrors, prisms. I have a prism around here somewhere. We're doing a music video soon using prisms and crystals, not not in that kind of voodoo way, <laughs> where, where you're seeing different refractions of light. Old TVs we used, VHS effect. Um, think of, you can do a period picture like 
going back to a certain time or period in, in humanity, fisheye lens so that everything looks like your nose is big. <laughs> Cartoon animation. <laughs> We've done all of these special effects. Flags. He reigns. Um, using animals. <laughs> Sports. Vehicles. Location shoots. Upside down. Um, a recap of a tour or an experience. Uh, in the rain. Just a glass, a pane of glass and some water and a, and a hose can, can do beautiful things. Colored powder. We did that in Freedom Fighters. Testimony videos. Wall projection. Projecting on a wall behind you. We did that in Amazing Grace. Stop motion. Uh, Thy kingdom come. We did that. That's super fun. So many things you can do with stop motion. that You can get really complex if you want to. Lighting tricks. We mentioned stock footage. We did a video with Mannequin Challenge where everybody's staying still and the camera's moving around them. Humanitarian images, as I mentioned, kaleidoscope images, multi-panel. The video we're dropping tomorrow has sometimes four or five images at once. Um, something creating drama or using mystery, action, running sequences, those are really good. Dream sequences backslider tunnels caves <laughs> i'm almost done <laughs> holiday <laughs> concert shots worship shots humor comedy light leaks lights coming through and leaking nature flowers desert waterfalls dancing jump cuts of things popping in and out without anything else moving Think artistic, think avant-garde, futuristic, urban. What does your song sound like? Drone, the apocalypse, the jungle, the ocean. Take us somewhere. Show us something. You can do a whole video backwards. We did that. But don't imitate us. Be creative. Now, I just mentioned some of the ideas we've done in the last 80 plus music videos. There are 144 more ideas I have written right here that I'm not going to read to you. I just don't have the time that have not been done yet. Plus the ones that Benny has, plus the ones that Luis has. But before we go, we just want to encourage you to get your questions ready and to watch our videos. Watch Coldplay's videos. OK Go. They started off with treadmills for free. Every one of their videos is creative. Be creative with the creator inside. Necessity is the mother of invention. You have no excuses. You have the idea. You have the song. Marry it to some images. Let's get to the questions. As I'm, uh, what, what? Anybody have the questions ready? Anybody know what the most, the best questions are yet? Somebody wants to know how you did the. Was it um, in jump light, jump high like a Maasai? Yeah. There was a UV makeup scene, lighting camera settings. Somebody's asking about that. Oh, uh, that was a fun I one. Black was. light. Okay, so I went on Amazon. I bought a bunch of black lights, uh, just little ones like this, probably six of them. I bought some fluorescent makeup, face makeup. And one night, after a Bible study in the living room of the lodging that we were staying at, I said, Hey guys, stick around. We're going to do something fun. They're like, what? I'm like, here's some paints, make your face in a tribal face paint. And they're like, you're crazy, Mark. And then we got the lights. The lights are just out of camera. And then we just had them do, just do fun, crazy, creative things. And it was one of my most favorite parts of the video. I want to do another video like that, that utilizes that even more, because there's something, I'd love to be able to do that on stage, but to get that many black lights is not easy. That was a blast. What's another question? Uh, somebody is asking what to get, rather DSLR or a Handycam to make your videos. DSLR, uh, definitely. I would do that over any sort of camcorder. Um, but I will say that anything that you, okay. Fourth of July is coming. 
the world is upside down. They, people are selling things for cheap. So I would shop around between what you can get at, on a Craigslist or something online from somebody locally that's getting rid of something because they can't pay rent or something out of the box at like a Costco or at a store. They're going to be giving packages out where it's like, not giving, but selling very cheaply. You can get everything you need for the camera kit for this amount. And if you get that around Christmas or around 4th of July or around uh, November, late November, Thanksgiving, you're going to get, you probably save $1,000. So I would invest in that. And then if you really plan on doing videos, you may think, but well, that's $1,000. <sighs> Some of these videos I was watching live where they're like, oh, how to do a no budget music video. And this one only costs five thousand dollars. I'm like, oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> That's not no budget. But if you if you pay a thousand or even two thousand and divide it by ten videos in the next two years, how much are you really paying? You know, not a lot. So, um, what's another one? Okay, David Tavita Fohe, David Fohe, love you, brother. Man, you guys need a music video like crazy. Okay. Do you have issues with audio sync when editing with iMovie for a music video? You know, syncing is is a, is a, an art in and of itself. <laughs> you can tell. Um, sometimes I think I think with iMovie, if you search in how to do micro frames, um, I don't know what if it, if it's even called that, but you know you know final cut i think it's kind of similar since it's they're both owned by apple but um how do you zoom in to get even smaller frames so that you can move do smaller more micro moves um with 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 marrying the different or with uh, syncing audio and, and the videos up i i would use depending on how how many shots you have mm -hmm. But if you have maybe like less than eight, I would use something called Multicam in Final Cut Pro. Um, that is, it's basically you're syncing up the the songs and it appears in a in a separate editor. Really? And then you can yeah, and then you can just uh, adjust it the way you want it, and then you can actually just click through it afterwards, go from mm -hmm. camera A to camera C, and you just make those little adjustments, those little clicks. Um, I but other than that, I would just um, Always make sure that you clap before you, yeah. film anything, you know, um, that the audio is loud. Yeah. Sometimes I even, I even had like clapping three times is even better than one time. Okay. Because sometimes it doesn't be, it, especially if you have a lot of videos where you clap just once, okay. sometimes it gets confusing in, in, the, in the, edit. <clears throat> the editor confuses it. Okay. Um, yeah. What are that tips? Yeah. So one thing that we like to do is we like to make sure, as I said before, that the audio is people like we've used our phone in our pocket while singing. Ooh, that's not an easy thing to sync later. So you want to use some sort of little device that's preferably hanging right near the camera, but loud enough so that the artist can hear it. And then what you do is you just play that plus the song. And when you're playing them both, when you get it to where it's barely phasing and it's not too early or too late, that's how you know you're good. And then, of course, you mute the audio from the video. So that's how we do it. I would say, David, I started using iMovie and I used it for years. When I switched over to Final Cut Pro, I didn't notice. It wasn't hard for me to learn it, but it was 10 times better. And, mm -hmm. um, and it, it, this is what I would encourage anybody to do. Find a way to volunteer audio visual at your church and find a way to start doing videos for them and say, can I use the computer or, Oh, this computer isn't good enough. You know, you guys need to get a new one and I'll, and I'll work on it. But can I also use that for some of my projects as long as they're in line with what your mission and vision are? Um, and that could go for the camera that could go for the lighting that could go for everything kind of a, and I know David Fohey who asked that question, he had a studio in the church that he was working at and they let him have the studio in there to record for a long time. So there are ways to have that symbiotic relationship. The problem is with that is you will spend time working on other people's projects, but at the same time, it could be a part of your tithe. It could be a part of 
that. So um, Ken Sheehan's asking, what are some of the resources for getting Final Cut Pro on the cheap? You're a student, Ken. I know that for, for a fact. I think there's probably some student offers out there. I don't know. I do know that I can't have it on two of my computers, so I can't hook you up, regrettably. But I would just Google that. That's the, the best thing about these things. Ken Sheehan, can DSLR cameras be mirrorless? I don't even know what that is, so you're going to have to answer that question. <laughs> um, well, there, there's mirrorless cameras and there's DSLR cameras. And, um, difference is that you, you have a mirrorless and then you have one with, I don't even know in regards to filming, but. Um, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, mirrorless camera is the one that I have, for example, when I showed to you. Okay. Mirrorless camera is basically where you have the sensor right here. Can, can you see that? Yep. And when you have a DSLR with the mirror, it's basically you have the mirror there and you have the sensor up here. Okay. So uh, in terms of filming, um, to be honest, I have, I have not shot. Um, I don't really see much of a difference, actually. To be okay. Honest, but, um, All right. But you can do researches. I would just say go on YouTube and, and research okay. mirrorless uh, VS, um, VSLR and then you'll see. Okay. Um, Ivan has asked this, how do you plan things out during pre-production? Ivan, I dream a lot. I have ideas. I'm going to go surfing the second that I say goodbye to you guys in, in probably 5, 10, 15 minutes. And um, once I say goodbye, I'm going to go surfing. I'm going to drive. I'm going to have visions. I'm going to have ideas. I'm going to go in the water. I'm going to have visions. I'm going to have ideas. I'm going to be playing with my daughter. I'm going to get ideas. And whenever I have a good one, I'll record it on my notes. I'll just talk it through. Like Sometimes I'll have an entire story like that. Sometimes it'll be bits and pieces. Or I'll write them in the notes. Voice memos, sometimes I'll record them using my voice memos on my Apple Watch. Um, I record those, and then... I try to make heads or tails of them. I try to organize them in a in a written format and forward them to the director. And then they try and understand them. And that's one of the hardest things is to get us on the same page. And once we do, then for them to take the vision and run with it. And the most important thing in all of this whew, is to get leg people people that can do help you with the leg work because many hands make work light and if you try and do it on your own you will only do x amount i have this incredible team that god has blessed me with that are watching right now that are answering questions that are doing this that are doing that i am so blessed but it took many years many years i had to do stuff on my own um you'll have to start that way but hopefully you'll build that team over time uh, eric just gave a really good suggestion. What's um, that? He was he was asking actually, what do you think of DaVinci? So DaVinci is another DaVinci Resolve is another editing program which is actually free. You have two versions. One is uh, there are a few extras I don't know for more professional use, but the, the lower version of that is completely free. Uh, it's a bit more complicated to learn than yeah. Final Cut Pro, but um, yeah, it's free. If you spend some time, there are plenty of tutorials online as yeah. well, and I definitely say it's a really good option. I will say that there, there is, there's PC and there's Mac. If you're a creative, I would say it sometime you're going to have to make that jump over to, over from, to Mac, um, because virtually every good thing is in there, and you will never have a virus issue or a thing like that. Um, speaking of Mac, somebody says, what app can you use to edit your videos um, on your phone? I movie. If it's an iPhone, there's there's a bunch of other ones. Search around, type Google best video editors for phone if you're going to do that. What would be good software for making a lyric video? I really don't know. I hire them out on Fiverr for usually about 100 200 bucks, and they're so much better than anything that I could ever do. Um, you could probably get them for much cheaper. They go by word. They go by the amount of words that you use. Um, so if you have a, a not a not wordy song, you can. <laughs> but again, it's always an investment, time or money. It's it's going to cost you a little something. But we've managed to do our videos for usually sometimes free, usually a few hundred dollars, um, sometimes five hundred. Like when we did what a beautiful name, there was the costume. We had to get to that place, 
and we couldn't get there without permits and without a, a guide. That was about 300 bucks to get there. Um, and then there was just the guy that I had to pay to film on the camera. Um, I won't get into the cost of a video because the people that I work with are either doing it as a missionary like Josh has done on this last video that we're going to release tomorrow. He did it all for free. He raised support to do it. Or they're doing it for super cheap as a blessing to us. And I don't want to quote a super cheap price. But I will say that uh, I've seen people who I haven't gone with do music videos for 500 to 1,000. But the common, more common is 1,500 to 5,000 for a video. Um, it, you, sometimes you get what you pay for. I would ask for a reel. What's your reel? Show me what you did. Don't show me what you did with somebody else. Did you use all your own gear <laughs> when you did this? <laughs> or were you over somebody else's shoulder? Those are some crucial things. And then show me that gear. And, um, and, and I would ask for that. Um, something else when it comes to planning out videos, not just writing them out, but some people do a storyboard. In fact, that's the way you're supposed to do it right? Define what a storyboard is briefly. Well, if you have the time, you just basically have, you draw pictures and or you draw the frames and um, yeah, you, you just draw whatever you want to have in those frames. If it's a medium shot, you just draw a person on a medium shot. If it's a long shot, you draw a person and with the surroundings or whatever you want to have in that. Um, it's just basically a visual description of when you, what you want to shoot that day. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, how can I ensure the quality of my video is not lost during my editing recording on an Android cell phone? That question will be answered next week by Luis. I wish I could answer that, uh, but I can't. Um, best app for editing videos on an Android? That's a question for Luis again for next week. How did you shoot How Great Thou Art? So cool, so fun. I talked about that earlier. We half half timed the song so 120 beat per minute song became 60 beats per minute super slow and then sang it and moved as much as we could and then we double timed it um if somebody could one of my other partners who are silently watching right now uh copy some of these uh, questions in other languages and then ask them through my ear um, when you get a chance. Tim Lennard is saying, what editing program would be good for PC? I don't know that. Do you know? No, well, there's Adobe. Um, Premiere is, can, can yeah. Premiere be on PC? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, Premiere so you is a, a... You can get a, a, a prescription. Uh, a subscription, subscription yeah. I think. Sorry, subscription. Um, I think uh, Luis was talking about it last week. Yeah. Uh, $30, I think, a month, something like yeah. that. Yeah. 30 quid a month. We pay for that right now, and it's they're, they're doing this thing, which is cool if you do it just for a little bit, but I think that you still – yeah, so I, I would look into that. Adobe Premiere is the one for you then. Um, Her, Her, Hernan, um, any video editor that you can recommend This is that is simple and effective, I would, I would have to say Final Cut Pro is probably – on a Mac is probably the best, and it's a one-time fee. You never have to worry again. And plugins typically cost, if you want to add them, around thirty dollars. But you can you can work everything in the box from there. So um, I would yeah. also suggest maybe it also depends on the country you're living in. Um, I know, for example, if I go when I was living in Scotland, everybody was using just Final Cut. So you could easily exchange um, projects you're yeah. working on. Um, whereas in, in the Philippines, nobody's using Final Cut. So I'm like the only one using Final Cut, pretty much. You know, so yeah. it's more difficult. So I think <clears throat> just check out what other people are using, what other filmmakers are using in your area. That's a good thing. And, and if you know somebody that's already using something, chances are your church is using something to edit videos right now. What are they using? Can you use that? Um, that's, a, that's a crucial one there and then okay DaVinci Resolve, like i said it's a free program so if you get your okay that that is that is very good that okay davinci so davinci final cut premiere premiere is the most common and probably the most professional or one of them um so 
uh, Ken Sheehan. I love you guys, man. Oh, man, these guys are all my friends. Tim, Ken, David, Michelle. Oh, man, this is so awesome. Do you come up with all the treatments for the videos, or do you take in input from the rest of the band? I wish I could say that these guys were just brimming with ideas. Um, I, yeah, I've so far, to my knowledge, I've pretty much come up with all the ideas um, for the most part. Uh, I think you and I, Benjamin, on the last video had some some back and forth. You, we were both thinking in the same place, but hadn't verbalized it. Um, and then you had added the cave. Yeah, but for the most part, when it comes to these stories, I, I have a plethora of these ideas. And I ask the band, and they're usually the ones where I say, I have this, 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 or this, what do you think? And then they usually shoot down all but one of them. So... Um, yeah, I wish that I wish that others would but then again sometimes when others have all these ideas Then all of a sudden there's this quarrel as to whose idea is better and we don't want to there's there should never be that It should the best idea should win Okay, Jay asks, can you send me this video later? I have the university class and I must go now. Yes, you guys will all get this video later It will not be in anything but English so um, Yeah, it, it won't not be immediate either because <laughs> we have one guy trying to do this and he's trying to do it on a very old laptop using iMovie. <laughs> if any of you want to volunteer to help us, we can send you the the class. You then just have to cut the beginning and cut the ends to where it, it, it starts and ends right. Then we'll send you the in and out that Benjamin has created and then all you need to do is just merge those and then you upload them to our YouTube. So if that's something that you would be willing to help with, would you email booking at Christafari.com? And we're going to put that in the chat right now, that address, booking at Christafari.com. Okay, Albert asked, I have the Pandora editor, but I do not have it full, and it is a bit complicated for me to edit. I also have the video to HD con converter, but he does not want to grab for the same thing either. What do you recommend, Mark, about it? Any recommended program or app to edit videos? Find a church, volunteer in their audiovisual department, find out what they're editing with, learn from somebody who already knows it. I would, I would do that. George Smith, I can help with your edit. That's awesome. Okay, make sure you email us with that and with your info, and uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, Tim Lenard, I had to step away for a bit. Sorry. If you already answered it, but but are permits required to film in most places? No, um, you don't try and film in a prison. Although we have, <laughs> uh, don't try and film in a military base. Although we haven't. Um, yeah, you don't need a permit. Just use a monopod if you're going to use anything, and just look like a tourist. And tourists use DSLRs. Tourists use phones. You're fine. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, Sarah King, you may have answered this in another class, but going back to discover your purpose as a communicator, what was it like navigating to find purpose and vision as a creative and marrying all of these skills and creative arts? I felt fragmented. I felt like, oh my gosh, what direction do I go? But now I realize that, that these are all... well. A video, a video editor shoots or, crea or creates in their mind, prepares, shoots, edits, color, co color corrects, releases. Those are five different things. So I just realized that my five different things all have to do with creating and, and working with people that help me get that out. It took a while to realize what I was better at than others, and I'm still trying to realize that now. But just keep moving forward. Never stop learning. You can learn anything on YouTube. I don't have an iPhone, but Samsung, what app can I use to make good video? That'll be next week. Stay in our classes. Keep watching these things. How often do you use drones? <laughs> uh, not often enough and sometimes too often. On a moment to pray, we got busted for using a drone. Um, drones are, are harder and harder to use now because they've blocked out certain areas uh, as a park or a national park or this or that where it's like a no-fly zone. What do you know about that, Benjamin? And what drone would you recommend? Yeah, okay. Uh, 
I think it's maybe important to check out the location before you go on the actual location with the drone. So like you said earlier, for example, if there's a military base around there, that drone should for sure not. Um, if there's a airport, of course, um, nowhere near near it. And then also depends really on the country um, as well. Mm -hmm. But there is, um, I can look up a link, um, maybe you can give it to Michelle and she can uh, send it to the people um, where you have like drone regulations, like countries and um, different drone regulations for different countries. Yeah. So you can just check them out then. Yeah. Um, I would recommend, um, well, I'm using the, the Mavic, the Mavic uh, Pro. Mavic Pro. Quite good. Yeah. Um, it's a bit more on the pricey side, but there's so much, there's so many drones. Out it's there. a lot cheaper now, I'm sure, though. Yeah. Just do a lot of uh, research and, um, especially in YouTube, look look at the tutorials, look at yeah. what people are saying, what people are saying. And, What's you know. this really super small drone that I heard you don't even need a license for that everybody's talking about now? I forgot what it's called, man. I don't know. But look it up. There's a bunch. The FAP, you mean? The, 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 I think drones, I think it's if they are weighing under 360 gram, I think it's legal to fly them anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Anywhere. It's like a bumblebee. Yeah, yeah that's, that's some, Yeah, so, so look that up depending on where you live. And um, I will say that if you're trying to get an epic place, it's been done before. You just got to find it. And there's nothing new under the sun with when it comes to that. So we usually end up going with B-roll that we found online. I use uh, a place called, what is it, Filmmake? No, what is the one that I that I sent you to for some B-roll? I know one of them is Storyblocks, and I have a subscription with them. That's a paid subscription. And then the other one is like, I want to say Filmmakers or something. But there's a bunch of different sites where you pay for B-roll. I would try and do the free thing, get download as much as you want for for a week, and then just go with that if you can, if they're ever offering it. Um, have we considered going back and and making music videos for previous albums? Yes, we have. In fact, we have done that. Um, we're still good, probably going to do it for the song Christ of Fry. For sure, um, we did it for Fly Away. We did it for Valley of Decision. And I'm thinking that there's probably Selah. But here's the problem. If it's a super old one, we'd want to re-record it because of tuning or pitch or or it's just not how we do it live anymore. And if it's sung by somebody else, um, we definitely would want to re-record it audio-wise. And um, we have so many new songs. So I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's necessary or not, but we have done it. We probably will do it again in the future from time to time. And we have one last question. Rosa asked, to record a slow scene, do I need a specific lens or setup in the editing program? I think it's in slow motion, yeah? Yeah. So it, the lens is not so important for slow motion, okay. but it's, it's more the camera. So it needs to shoot over or at least 60 frames a second okay. so that you can slow it down well. And um, yeah, in post, you can also do a lot. You can do with, um, there's like optical flow, um, what you can do, or it's like some sort of internal stabilizers. And, uh, yeah. yeah, internal uh, frame blending modes that could, you could use yeah. for, for slow motion as well. But yeah, uh, lens is not so important. Important is that you have a camera that shoots um, 60 frames a second. Amen. Okay, guys. So um, as we close, I just want to encourage you with a few things. Um, somebody else is going to pop on, I think, in a second and, and pitch a few other classes. But as we close, I just want to encourage you. We've told you everything that we know and that we can think of in this amount of time. Uh, thank you for, for your patience and the amount of time it took. Uh, this is like years worth of classes and two classes. The next one is going to be uh, the smartphone filmmaking a, a week from now. Um, but we want to encourage you to do this for Jesus. There's so many classes out there, so many online things you can learn. And they're all costing money. And they all teach you how to make money. We want to encourage you to build God's kingdom, do things that, that bring people to Jesus. That's what matters. Yeah. We've all done stuff for the world. 
that was empty but gave us a paycheck. Um, there's nothing more soul satisfying than doing something wholeheartedly for Jesus. Benjamin, would you like to add anything to that? No, absolutely. And I mean, like, if you if you believe God is God and if you are doing something for Him, then why not involve Him in the whole process? Why not pray for creativity? Why not pray for um, opportunities? Mm. You know, and uh, yeah, and during the shoot, why not why not just pray? beforehand pray yes. with the actors if they're christians as well you know cover the whole yeah. thing and let him be involved in the whole process yeah. amen take a moment and pray don't forget to put jesus in the center of all of this as you're doing this and guys as as we close out um i want to give a special a special opportunity for you to partner with us in this um and one of the ways you can do that is Benjamin, as, as, as we're talking to him, he's, he's in Brazil. He came on a tour with us to video us. He's currently working on a documentary for us that captures our last Brazil tour. Oh, man, I saw the first cut of the first episode. It is insane. Um, but he can't, he can't get a job out there, and he's doing a lot of work for us right now. And so we've committed to cover his costs. To cover to to help cover what his family needs his his beautiful wife is there she's pregnant they found out on tour it's so awesome but one of the ways you can help hey how you doing <laughs> they're both models if you can't tell by the way <laughs> um, um, so one of the things we want to encourage you to do is if you believe in what Benjamin is doing with us would you go to christafari.com forward slash donate and would you partner with us click on the most needed fund because as we're committing to help cover their costs um we're doing that in faith and we need partners like you that can help help pour into this ministry so that we can pour into their family so that they can pour into the kingdom's ministry of leading people to jesus through audio visual <laughs>